<laughs> hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to bringing to the final three episodes, or really the series finale of Saki Part 3. We are finally here. I was supposed to do this yesterday, or really, no, let's start with this. I was supposed to do this a couple of weeks ago with the previous episodes, but I was too busy around the time of Thanksgiving, and I gotta do it now. Because I don't want to postpone it. Because if I postpone it, that would literally be very close to the end of the month. Because the next two weeks are about to be hell for me. But we're doing it now. It's early in the morning. Um, I just woke up. So I'm a little groggy and tired and such. <laughs> so I'm trying to make sure I don't fall asleep or just be like... <laughs> so if I nod off, I'm sorry. <laughs> but other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 11 in 3, 2, 1 go there is something stuck in my eye oh my god i still cannot believe she's asleep <laughs> Do I have an alarm for today? No, it's for tomorrow. Oh, girl. Yeah, that's a lot of freaking steps. <laughs> Mm-mm. I got a bad feeling about that. Oh. 
this dog. He should be able to get out though. I didn't close the door all the way. I mean, well, since Kasumi also woke up, what's her face? I mean, mm. <laughs> I mean, then hold up, what were you expecting? I mean, it's the last freaking match before finals. Don't say that. I mean, yeah, I know, but don't say that. Exactly. Here, you want to sit in my lap? You just really want to go back out. The door is still open. But, oh, no. <laughs> you're, you're coming. <laughs> I think he came over to me. that she could I mean because like let me just say this it's her game now once she set off her, her ability after that mm -mm. First time all three y'all are at a stone. Mm.
Well, you gotta find a way to keep it. on your hair. I mean, it would seem best for her to stay on the attack mode since she already did offense. But any one of these three can switch instantly and then maybe she has to go back to offensive mode. I think it's if you've noticed it, of course they did. I mean, because, like, once again, I sure, as her grandma said, she's a doll. So, I mean. Well, laying on the bed. I'm going to go put you on the bed. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Go. And I'll let you back out so you can go lay with your friend after I'm done watching this episode. Yeah, but that seems like a small amount, though.
<laughs> You'll see. She probably did, but she just wants to test that even further, though. Oh, okay. Lucky, oh my god. <laughs> Baby with six minutes left. <laughs> No, well, not only that, but I feel like she had, mm-hmm, see, I told you, she was about to have something else planned.
Her eyes. That's because Saki's super scary, super scary since day having one. And then when you go into part two, and then you really see how scary she is when you're getting the POV of a different character, you be like... You don't want to meet this girl in the back alley by myself in the middle of the night. But okay, now that everything is in Saki's lead and, and such. I mean, she she's a grand stop of master. She's not stopping until she wins this. And, and the fact is, like, my thing was, I was guessing we were going to see the conclusion of it in this episode, but no, we're stretching it for one more episode because I don't think the final episode will be a three-parter to this match, but something tells me they could do that if they really wanted to, but at the same time, they're just going to stretch it to two parts and then add some extra bits in the next episode, and then whatever the heck the final episode is going to be, it, it'll be what it is. But, I mean, seriously, the fact that she turned it around, like, my fucking snap. Nothing. There we go. Um, girl. <laughs> my baby oh my god I, I mean it's just once again you don't mess with her when she plays Bajan like girl baby be doing too damn much like oh my god mm -mm. I, I can't even imagine like going against her but like it, it's every I, I felt like this and I felt like this in season one ever since we learned the, the backstory of her and her sister it's like every match that she has planned since the beginning of the series and since we've known her and such. The, and this is just my thing. I don't know about the rest of y'all. So when she plays, maybe she's imagining like all three of the other players, even the the um the short little blonde haired girl, um, I don't remember her name, as her sister. Maybe. And then all that she gets just, you know, there's a moment where she just changes. And everything inside of her just snaps. And when that's when she's normally using her ability. Now, 
I mean, Kasumi with her ability at first, when that started, I didn't think that was going to change anything because when you look at her and especially everybody a part of her team, you're thinking like, oh, they're just these nice, cute little maidens. No, each one of these damn girls got like something that just wants to change the initiative on this match. And the fact is, like, what's her feature key? Sally Hayami's character was sleep the whole freaking last half of this show. And she finally wakes up when Kasumi uses her ability. That ish is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what else to say about that. But go ahead and pause the video. And I will see you guys in one second for episode 12. Alrighty, episode 12 in 3, 2, 1, go. But see, I don't think that would have been enough for her to win, right? Because she is the lowest.
That's why she's using it. The fact that Saki is not saying anything, she has not said anything at the beginning of this episode, it's freaking me out a little bit. But that also tells me she has something up her scheme. Even if it's just something small. Oh. Mm -hmm. You still did good. Oh, we all got nervous. <laughs> It was different. Hmm? 
course she does. to call. She must have just woken up. <laughs> Twenty girl. No, don't be. I wonder where she's going. Um, to get food. <laughs>
No. Oh. If y'all don't do a group hug. No. Her penmanship is so cute. <laughs> I mean, hey, you need a break. You okay? No, Saki.
my thing is hold up let me go ahead and say this we got one more episode left how in the world are y'all gonna fit semifinals in one episode It makes you want to check something real quick after I'm done watching this episode, and I think I'm going to. But seriously, no, this was good. Like, yes, even though Saki won, it's very much on how I feel with Pretty Derby. Um, whoever the main protagonist is of the show overall, and all these other girls that we end up meeting in the series, you end up, like, becoming attached to them and such. And so when the main character for Size for Season, th season 3... Her name is Kita. And in yesterday's episode or Wednesday's episode, she lost and another girl won. I was happy and I was sad at the same time. That's kind of like the same episode um, the previous week or the previous week before last week. Um, there was an episode where Diamond, her best friend, won and she lost again. And that really, like, peeved me off like oh my god i wanted to cry because it was just like oh my god but at the same time i was happy because of diamond and so i feel this way with this like i'm happy saki lost i mean lost saki won but at the same time i'm sad for the rest of these girls because i mean everybody wanted to win that's the biggest thing everybody wanted to move on to semi but sometimes it can't work out like that But yeah, I mean, this was really good. I'm just excited to see how this is going to really conclude. But I'm definitely going to check something out in a second before <laughs> I watch the, uh, the last episode. Because it's supposed to be the last episode. So what the heck is going on? I mean, they didn't do anything else, did they? I mean, I downloaded all three parts. It was only three. There's, there's not a part four. So... Who knows? But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for the final episode. Okay, final episode in three, two, one, go. Ugh. The penguin. <laughs> Did one of y'all turn it off? The Saki still sleep.
it is a little weird that after this, we're going back to like a flashback episode, kind of. So this is why, I mean, at least we're seeing the moment that leads up to it in it. And then I think eventually Saki also wakes up too. Yeah, because <laughs> in the end, all three of them go. Since your sister. I mean, yeah, but y'all also came too late.
No. <laughs> Girl, you <laughs> what? How you feeling? Relax. Tired. <laughs>
Yeah. No, Yuki. <laughs> Here you go. You thought it was going to be something big and grand? <laughs> <laughs> mhm mm but it's, it's yeah that's aco
Girl, the geese is out. God dang. I mean, it's only 8-12, but Jesus. They must be outside fighting. Oh, she's pretty. Of course. Okay, so final thoughts on this show overall. This was a really good series. 
I hate the fact that it took me almost a whole freaking year just to finish this because we initially started this of January of this year and we're in December and if I had waited until January of next year it would have been a whole year on it but I was trying to make it not because I knew it was going to be super duper long like that was my biggest issue. I mean it's not I'll say this. It's not as long as the Monogatari series, because, like, the Monogatari series is, like, over 100-plus episodes. And that took me, I think, a whole year to kind of finish. I'm not 100% sure on that, but at least, like, a year to two years. Now, mm -mm. I think the one thing I dislike about this is that we're seeing this all in the end credits with this. I would have liked to see, like, what, four more episodes of it, but no. I'm okay with it, though. But seriously, this was a good series. Super freaking underrated. I feel like I know a lot more about Mahjong now than I think. So, I am still excited for the other show that still is coming out sometime next year. Because, I mean, duh. When I saw the trailer for that, I was just like... Yep, that's an instant yes. That's an instant watch so that I could know a little bit more about Mahjong. But my biggest disappointment, and, and this ain't a bad thing, it, it's just, it's to me, it's disappointing, is the fact is that we didn't see Saki and her sister in a match together. So it, it's just like, it's abruptly ending. It leaves it on a satisfying cliffhanger where it's like we could have gotten something, but in the end, it's kind of like no... Yes, you want it. You're not exactly getting it. And maybe if it got another season, then yes. Because, like, when I... I like, okay, here, here's the thing. So, when I finished episode 12, and before I started episode 13, I was like, well, let me go and check. So, yeah, there is still only 13 episodes. There is, like, an OVA-type series, but it's more about... It's like a spinoff thing, and it's only a one-off. So, I was like, okay, I don't really need to watch that. But seriously, this was really good. I think everybody cast-wise, like, this cast of characters and the seiyus, like, I mean, because, like, of course, like, it makes me want to go back and see, like, who all played these characters and stuff. Some people were very obvious than others because instantly you just knew by their voice. But the fact is, it took me so long to, like, initially recognize Saki's voice as Rin was really messed up because, like, I had to go back several times um, to make sure, because her voice, like, when you hear her as Rin, it, it is the same voice, truly, but there are times when you're hearing her from Saki to Rin, she changes her, like, the way of her pitch is, so, yeah, go back and listen to, like, anything that Rin says in Fate, and then go back to listen to Saki, and then, like, it's almost similar to her one character in 86, but then when she plays Yomiya, it's one-to-one -one Rin and Saki, except the voice is a little more Rin-esque and not Saki-esque. Because Saki is more of a soft-like voice, and Rin is a very, like, passionate girl. Even though, like, at the same time, Rin is, like, kind of shy in a way. But still. But yeah, this was a really interesting series. I hate the fact that I am truly done with this, but I am happy that I am also officially done with this because this was a long behind series and this is going to make me um specifically with patreon stuff kind of change some things because there is a, a couple of things i need to talk about when this comes out this weekend and such but seriously this was really good i hate the fact once again that i am done with this because honestly right now we're at a point i don't know what the heck i'm watching next after this but we'll talk more about that in the post on saturday but seriously this was too damn good. I just, I wish there was more. I wish we could have gotten to see that match. Not in a credit sequence, but more in, like, a one-hour episode. Because I think that would have been good to just end everything right then and there. But I think even an hour-long episode possibly still wouldn't have been enough for it. But for what it was worth, this was a very interesting journey. I love the fact that, you know, part one and part three was specifically about Saki. Part two was about Nadaka's friends that she met in middle school or really in elementary school, left them in middle school, and then they continued being in a Mahjong team to like eventually go against her and such. Like I said, there's just there's so many things we could have they could have fit in this. 
They could have had one more episode for this, but I understand. I get it. There are sometimes in situations where, just like with any shonen type series and such, where you're catching up with the mangaka, and then you're like, okay, we need a filler season. And then, you know, when the manga is like super duper far from where, you know, you two met up at, that's when you continue. <laughs> so I really get it, but... I'm satisfied with this. I truly am satisfied with this. This was a damn good series, and I will miss it so freaking much. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entirety of part one, part two, and part three of Saki. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially. I'll so, mmm. I can't really say that just yet because of the fact is I got to do the situation on Saturday. So I will just see you guys all next time, whenever the heck that will be for the start of the next Patreon series, whenever I do find that out from everybody else. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.